that you say that you care hello welcome good afternoon everyone uh, or good morning depending on where you are because in in new york it's eight o'clock in the morning in california it's five o'clock in the morning on a saturday are you serious in melbourne it's already 10 o'clock tonight and most people are just thinking about getting off to bed here in the uk it's one o'clock in the afternoon and it is day six of our crafters tv one year anniversary has anyone said to you all week long, by the way, that your first wedding anniversary is your paper anniversary? Who knew? We're the perfect place, aren't we, for a paper anniversary, which is just brilliant. Lovely to have your company. I've come dressed as autumn because let me tell you, it's a bit of an autumnal day here at CCHQ. In fact, in this gentleman's world, we would call today a bra bricked moonlicht nicht, wouldn't we, Craig? We would indeed, and we would also say it's day one for me. This is day one for uh, my anniversary week show, so it's going to be really good. It's really exciting. Great selection that we've got on. Some of my favourites, I have to say. Here all day, of course, and then uh, into tomorrow. Why don't we sneak peek at some of the things we're going to be doing? Yes. Let's have a look at some of these. So some of my most favourite embossing folders ever so we've got our christmas and boston folders you know we're in anniversary week so i just had to do some christmas so these are some of the things that you'll be able to make we've got the deck the halls the sentiment one as well but then what about our sentiments that die cut out as well as embossed so we've got happy birthday we've got friend we've got congrats and we have got so so much more uh, we've got lots of uh, whether it's die cutting whether it's blending whether it's sparkle pens whether it's harmony water reactive ink pads we've got all of that I've got my cup of tea ready to go. I know Derek's got a few things to go over with you before uh, we get creative. Yes, my cup of tea's tucked right the way down there because I've got some work to do first before I hand the baton over to Craig uh, to do some demonstrating. Good afternoon, everyone around the world. Sarah is in from Melbourne. She's always there right on time, Sarah. Uh, Mary Kate's in from New York. Katie from San Francisco. Elizabeth from Harper, Texas, which sounds lovely. Is that one of David Beckham's children, isn't it? Harper, Texas. <laughs> um, Diana's in from Phoenix and lots more. Remember, if you're joining in the chat, I see all of your comments that come in through Facebook and YouTube. They all come to me via a distillation from our social superstars. This show, I will change this strap to show you how much we're giving away in this show. £11,000 worth of products to give away on this show, which how is £11,000 worth, Craig. Whoa! That's awesome, isn't it? Awesome indeed. It is. Right, let's get started then. Let's start giving those products away, shall we? Now remember, we give away the products by adding freebies into the bundle. So let's start with our Christmas 3D embossing folder sentiment five-piece collection. Oh, that's a big mouthful, isn't it? Uh, now with this one, you get the ornate Christmas tree the snowflake flurry, elegant poinsettia, and deck the halls, and then you stop paying. Because Merry and Bright 2020 comes free with the bundle, because it's got the golden gift on it, £27.96. $39.80, which is wonderful. We also have a collection of Sara signature embossing folders, don't you know? Yes, £17.97, $23.93. And what you get in here is just 
brilliant. You get the vintage lace, Venetian lace. You get the rose gold confetti burst and rose blooms. Then you stop paying and the Rick Rack and the Crafty Friends, they come for free, which is brilliant. £17.97, $23.93. Start checking out your basket straight away with all the goodies. We've also got your sparkle pens in this show as well. And this is such a wonderful, wonderful collection. Do you know what? I haven't ventured down Sparkle Pen Street yet, but I think it's uh, soon time for a wandle. Wandle? A wandle? A waddle? A wander? I'm not sure what I want to do. I want to do it all. Um, here you've got the autumn winter collection, the coastal cottage and spring summer. They come for free. Uh, £49.98, $65.90. We've also got some wonderful stamps for Christmas here. Now, this is a bog off, don't you know? I say you buy two, you get two. Two free. You do. Well, that took a bit of going, didn't it? Should we try again? You buy two. You get two free. That's the way it happens. Good. We all understand now. Uh, so you get the first two sets there at the top, which are called something Christmassy. Uh, of course, they're always called Merry Christmas and Warm Wishes. And the other two, well, they just come for free, don't you know? Which is really, really good because you buy two. You get two free. Yes, if you didn't have a mouthful of tea at the time. Uh, £11.98 <laughs> or $15.90. Sorry, Craig, I waited okay. for that moment. I waited for that moment. Right, we've also got some essential stamps as well for you. 46 elements in this, which is really, really cool, isn't it? You get so much here. Oh, here they are. I found them. So you get in essential sentiment and you get floral friends and then you stop paying and then you get sassy sentiments sassy sentiments uh, you get those for free which is really really good and that's 40 pounds 98 22 dollars 90. see the stuff that we're giving away in this show it's just awesome absolutely awesome right let's have a look at a collection of gorgeous cut and emboss folders oh and by the way if you are an embossing master stroke mistress then I want to, oh, I don't know if mistress is the right word. Anyway, listen, uh, especially considering the conversations we've had even before you got here this morning, that's definitely not the word. But listen, if uh, you are a, a, a dash with the embossing, I would love to see pictures of your finest embossing work today. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Now here are cut and emboss folders and they are amazing really really good because you get the letters left over as well Craig don't you with the cut and emboss you absolutely do so you can uh, actually use these without the letters however you can paper paste them back in you can put acetate behind and create sh shaker cards you can create 3d by bringing them all out with your 3d foam pads so many different things that you can be doing with them do you know I've got a large collection now inspired by you Craig of uh, uh, 3d foam pads you know, project one, that's done and dusted. That's under my belt now. Um, and next, I want to create a wonder with uh, 3D foam pads. Not just 3D foam pads, of course, but you know, I, I, I know, I know the merit of expanding your look uh, with a 3D foam pad. I, I haven't got any chunky glue yet either, so you should feel very honored. Let me tell you, oh, the face he just gave to 3D chunky glue there. Anyway, uh, let's look at your ink pads right now because we've put a really, really lovely collection of 13 imp ink pads here for you. Um, not an unlucky number, let me tell you, because Blue Lagoon and Oasis and Parakeet, they're for free here. They're for free in this bundle as part of our £11,000 worth of product in this two-hour show to give away. £49.90. So you're basically paying for 10 of your Harmony Water Reactive inks, and they're brilliant colours as well. You get Fuchsia and you get Honey Pot, which Craig's use all the time. Uh, you get Lemon Tonic, Orange, Plum Jam, Pink Tulip, Sandstorm. Sounds like a lovely trifle so far, doesn't it? Uh, and Parakeet, Oasis and Lagoon. They all come for free. Very, very popular already where you are shopping the show this morning. And can I just say, you have me to thank for the fact that you can shop the show because there was a little technical glitch this morning which stopped you from uh, shopping as early as you normally do. But Derek was on the ball this morning and spoke to the team with the most and we got everything switched on. So you can shop the show now for this show, the next show, all of tomorrow, and I think Monday as well, if you like as well. I've told you too much, honestly. Four days with Joe, or three days with Joe, however many it was, I've been bursting to tell you lots of gossip, so that's the first lot. Anyway, over to you, Mr. Laird. What are we starting with? We are going to start with the cut and emboss folders. We're going to start with the one that says 
thanks. And I thought what we would do to start with is because as Derek says, uh, I usually work with Honeypot. So on this occasion, I thought, why change it? Let's use honey pot again. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use honey pot and we're also going to use plum jam. So these are from uh, the selection that Derek just showed you there. These are our water reactive, so you can do all your water techniques with uh, these ink pads as well. Craig, Don't forget, you can stamp with them as well if you want. Just, yes. before, just before you start, guess the language. God after me dog. Guess the language. God after me dog. Gaelic? It's actually Danish. Oh. But never mind. Um, oh, well. No points this time, but there's, there's two hours. Two hours. Sorry, you were saying about your inks there. You so can stamp with them as well. It was just to say that um, our water reactive ones, where, yeah, you can do all your blending, your water techniques, you can do all these different things. However, if you don't have quick dry, don't think that you can't use your water reactive to stamp your sentiments. You can do. Obviously, you do need to be aware that there will be that wee element of being able to smudge if you were to push your hands over the top straight away, but you can stamp with them as well. But let you go in with your water brushes, paint brushes, and pull out the colour with your water. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the folder but we're going to actually make a box with it so what i'm going to do is i've just taken some of our white smooth cardstock so with this one here it is seven inches by five inches so what i'm going to do is i've got my honey pot and i've got my plum jam and i've got them just here you might just be able to see no more as uh, usual i've got them against my glass cutting mat because that gives me an area to actually pull the colors so i'm just taking my blending tool i'm using this the rectangle one you can use the square uh circle ones if you want and then all that I'm just going to do nothing specific no specific way or style I'm going straight onto my cardstock so we're just going to go right over the top such a luscious color isn't it I just want to answer a question quickly Teresa on Facebook she says are they the same ink pads from earlier this week no they are not it's a different selection than we had earlier in the week for the 13 piece that you see at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, so it's worth having a little look on the website. It's a good little deal that, remember, and three of them come for free because Craig and I, we've, we're on a mission. We've got to give away 11,000 pounds worth of products by an hour and three quarters. I think we can do it, Craig, today. I think we can as well. And just yeah. to say as well, that full colour selection that we've got that you showed, Derek, these are some of our most popular colours. These are ones that you are going to use time and time again. So it's not as if we gave you popular colours and then the free ones, we've given you ones that you maybe wouldn't necessarily use quite a lot. Because let's be honest, anyone else out there, uh, uh, we tend to do that. They would give you the ones that have been lying about in the warehouse the dodgy that ones. aren't going to be used a lot. Absolutely. Reduced yeah. to clear. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. You've got two of your free ones are blue, aren't they? Because Oasis and Lagoon, they're both blues, aren't they, Craig? They, they are, yeah. yeah. Bits of blue bringing in your, your turquoise colour with Everyone these ones here. Everyone loves a bit of blue, don't exactly, they? Exactly. And they a bit do of parakeet indeed. as well, which is a lovely, beautiful, vibrant green. I love that. What's the melange you're, um, you're making there, Craig? What was that, sorry? Uh, the melange. The melange. Um, the, it's honey pot and... It's honey pot and plum jam, which plum is also jam. in the collection as well. So all that I've just done, just randomly with each colour, and then just going with my lightest one, which was the honey pot, I'm just going over the top. So we're just going right over the top, just kind of blending them back in. And then what we can tend to do is, let's just even go back just with a wee bit more of the darker. So this is the plum jam again. So we're just going back over. We're just adding some colour just back over the top just to give it a bit more depth and then you can always go back over the top. Now this is our uh, smooth cardstock. So if I then bring this up for you to see so let's just flatten that one out can you see that blending now i didn't do the uh what you would tend to do uh that you were told you know many many years ago this is i'll actually show you that on the back this is what we were always told many years ago with your other blending inks what you would do is just load up your um actual sponge with your uh, blending tool and your ink you would start onto your mat or your uh, heat proof mat and then you would gradually just come on to your cardstock just to start to get that blending feature you seen when it came to this side here I went direct straight on there was no starting on the glass mat coming onto the actual paper we went straight over the top so then what I'm going to do now is I want a wee bit more depth all the way around the edges so this is where I'm going to do exactly what I just showed you a minute ago I am just going to go just around the edges we're just picking up that color over the edge now you can start to layer the color even more you can go 
deeper and darker, or you can go really, really subtle and even very, very pastel like. So what I'm just going to do is, if I finish this one, Ray? now this is the one I'm using. Yes. Sorry, just a, no, no. a quick thing, but a great, a great point, because I would be thinking exactly the same thing if I'm sitting at home and thinking, actually, I'd like to get started with this, but let's go right back to the beginning. Um, the best card stock to start with if you're embossing. Are there any hard and fast rules? Uh, when it comes to embossing, you can, of course, you know, whether you use your smooth cardstock, your texture, your glitter, your mirror, your matte, your vellum, your acetate, you can do all these different things. Of course, if you want to do what I've just done and done a bit of blending uh, with the water reactive, then what to do is use your smooth cardstock. However, if you want to then uh, add some water, spritz some water, do your water techniques, I would do this onto our watercolour cardstock. So um, if you want to do blending with your inks, I would always tend to say uh, use your uh, smooth uh, cardstock you'll get that nice subtle blend. You will get the blend with the water reactive uh, cardstock. You just need to keep in mind that you're also going to get that really nice texture from the card as well. So that is that one. So this is the one we're going to use. We're going to carry on and using this one. I did do one earlier on, but a bit lighter for you to see. So that is the exact same color I just used a moment ago, mm -hmm. but I just went very, very light that you can see just there. So I've gone from a deeper to a more pastel shade within this one here. So then what we're going to do, let's bring it in our folder. So our folder where you see all the black um, designs, that's what's going to emboss. And then our actual silver, which happens to be the die, that's what's going to die cut. Now, if I open this one up, now this is actually a very, very thin white padding. Don't remove that. Keep that in place because that's what's going to protect the other side of your folder. You will get a bit of um, an not an emboss, a die cut uh, edge along here that'll say the word thanks, but that's what's going to protect. So never try and uh, poke that out with your pokey tool. It's meant to be there. So then what we're going to do, just as we would with a, a normal folder, so to speak, I'm just going to lay my cardstock in the middle and we're just going to pop that one over the top and I'm just going to line it up just with the edge of our card. So then that is there in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Gemini Junior plates because I've got my Gemini here. So it's just our two cutting plates. However, I want that detail to be a, a wee bit more um, bold, a wee bit more raised. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to include my metal shim as well. So that just gives a wee bit more pressure. That gives that wee bit more uh, scope for uh, the card to really pull into the embossing folder and give you that nice uh, design. So as this one comes out, uh, A5, because it's the Gemini Junior, but absolutely it'll go through your large Gemini. So let's then remove this one out of the way. So if I then start to peel this off, and then what I'm going to do is if I remove that, so we've now got the word thanks. Let's just start to bring the lid of the box so you can see. I love so it. Look at that. And then look at all of that raised detail that you can see just there of the design. So you can go over that with another colour if you want. But then look at that, we've got the word thanks. So this is now die cut. We can be keeping that, we could be using that. And that is now in the same style and the colour tones that we just used when it comes to the inks. So keep a hold of that one. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to move that one to the side and Maybe you can just see, this is what I mean by, you've got, see how you've got the word, the thanks, that's just lightly cut into oh, your folder. Yeah. That's normal, so don't worry about it. Yeah. It's absolutely normal. Can but, I, can I just, just very, very quickly, because it's just occurred yes. to me, and this, and this is, I'm, I'm afraid I now come with, with like a week's worth of, like I did say, didn't I, during the week, I was going to have some playtime, so I've been playing with the Gemini and everything else, but what occurs to me straight away, just watching the demonstration, and it's not going to be what you think it is, Craig, either, okay. is, if you want to keep up with the same kind of the, uh, the pace as everyone works um, here, I think it's worth, even if you've got the larger Gemini machine, I think it's worth getting a, a set of the junior plates, mm -hmm. just the, the, the clear plates, um, and, and then running them through your, your big Gemini, just, you know, because you do it like lengthways, don't you, through the, um, with your mini plates, because it just, it, it just quickens things a little bit because I've learned even over after like three or four days of those extra few seconds you will want because you're eager to move on to the next part. We have got is one of our anniversary deals is the junior plates and you get the storage bag for free if you want to shop the show and get one of those. It's a really good little anniversary deal actually. In fact strap on here it is. Uh, it is the clear cutting plates and the storage comes for free as one of our anniversary deals there, which is really good. So fifteen ninety eight or nineteen ninety. Not trying to sell you anything in that regard. I'm just thinking the amount of times that I've watched shows here and Sarah or whoever's been demonstrating 
has gone, actually, do you know what? I'm just going to run my mini plates through because the die will go through or the embossing folder will go through. And I think, yeah, and actually, because they're a little bit smaller, they're easier, you take up less room on your working space, Craig, as well. They do, yeah, and I know we've got the reverse function, which is just ingenious, one of my favourite kind of like invention since uh, Sky Plus here in the UK, I always <laughs> say that's my favourite. But just to show with Derek, so when it comes to your large Gemini, if you can only go for one machine, because I know not everyone can go for both the large and the junior, if you go for the large machine, because then, because it's larger, it means you can do everything with it. Obviously, if it's smaller, you're a bit more restricted, but that's your large plate. If I bring in the junior plate, you can see it's exactly half the size of the large plate. So that just means it's going to go in width way. Certainly with uh, Sarah and uh, Debbie Robinson, they tend to use the uh, large Gemini with the small plates quite a lot. So yeah, absolutely. It's a bit more versatile, a wee bit quicker as well by just using the large Gemini with your small plates. Amazing. Just one more thing, just very, very quickly, just because I'm having a look on the... Um the of the of the comments sorry i just spotted something funny there and i don't know what it relates to but i might ask him anyway uh christine's <laughs> sorry christine it's made me laugh and i don't even know why um does craig use glycerin um yeah and actually we're going to be using that uh later in, on in today what in regards, one of our dem I don't know. demos we're what going do to be you use using it for that. glycerin so for instance we're going to be using it with our sparkle pens later on so if you want to turn your sparkle pen into a blending solution what you're going to do is you're actually going to be uh, blending some of the uh, sparkle ink with glycerin and that's going to enable it to be a blending solution oh i did wonder what she meant i i, I wonder if i wondered if you told her privately about that rash oh. uh, and and that was something to do with that i don't know <laughs> anyway listen i said i would mention that didn't i on the show oh, i forgot we're on telly mm -hmm. um any, anyway where were we now uh, i just noticed in the comments there um somebody asked which inks um, you're using. We're using the Harmony Water Reactive inks. We've got this bundle of 13 colours of the most popular colours as well. And three of the inks actually come for free today. So they're the inks that, uh, that Craig's currently using. We're going to be using sparkle pens later. Um, but in the shop, the show for this show, you've got that bundle of 13. You're basically just paying for 10 and you get three free. And the three that you get free, which is not easy to keep saying, is Lagoon, Oasis and Parakeet, which are three of the, the most popular colours. And you've got lemon tonic in there as well which always always sells out you've got honey pot and fuchsia and orange and plum jam and pink tulip and sandstorm um, you've got it all going on in there and three of them come for free so that's well worth knowing um, anything else you want to know by the way um, just let me know in the comments and our social superstars will uh, pass all of your comments through to me even the ones that I don't understand that make me smile for no reason like does Craig use glycerin three times a day as advised by the doctor um, 49.90 or 69.50 uh, for your inks Craig where were we we will uh, carry on. We'll get this box <laughs> finished. So what we're going to do is I've just taken some of our turquoise centura pearls. So this came from the Trend collection, although we do have uh, a pack of 10 on the, I think it's on the website that's just all turquoise. So what we're going to do is I really don't want the uh, embossed design on this one because I just want the die cut words. However, you could make it large enough to cut and emboss and then keep the words uh, to use and then use the folder uh, embossed uh, image elsewhere. So two cutting plates, because I really don't um, need any of that detail to be embossed, I'll have more uh, enhancement with that embossing. I'm not putting in my me uh, metal shim. So that's going to come out. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take the die cut words out that says thanks. So let's bring these ones back in. So if we then peel that away and then we can just poke these wee bits out there. So we've now got the words. So this is where we're actually going to end up doing a bit of paper piecing. So we can take them out and although I've kind of lined it up just perfectly, so we've got that nice uh, symmetrical uh, top and bottom with the embossed design. I so you can it. still use that one. You don't have to use an embossed area uh, as a whole. Are you going to be using that today, Craig? What's that? That the, the the thanks the thanks waste there. Are you going to be the using that the waste that has die cut out. That I've just no 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 not out. the letters. No the other bit. This bit. Yes. No plans to be using it. In the okay, rest you of put today. it on the other side of your desk then, please. Oh, you want it? Yes. There you go. Thank you very there much. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the scrounge. <laughs> like, okay. like, where are you going with that one? Absolutely, you can have that one. I can make something with that. So what I've just done here is we have then got... Is, is that actually, Derek, is that because you've spent all your money on craft stuff? Honestly, I've you've got I, more stuff delivered. Yeah, yeah, so. I am. I am penniless um, from all of my orders. <clears throat> and there are still some that are making their... Uh, 
making their way through. Mm -hmm. Plus, to top up, um, I've, I've also been, we have stores in the UK called, one's called Hobbycraft and one's called The Range in the UK. Other stores are available. Um, and I have been to both of those <gasps> this week for Crafter's Companion product because we didn't have anything oh. on the website. So, so I, 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 I spent more the bell that. I did, I did, I did buy a couple of other bits and pieces while I was there as well, I must admit. I, honestly, I've, I've got, a, I'm awash with glue now, the Colal, obviously which we sell here, which I love. And I've got the fine tip applicators. Anyway, Craig, you don't want to hear me boring no. you silly about my crafting supplies. Uh, no, I know. <laughs> and I haven't made you a card. No. I'm so sorry. I'm going to, because I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> gonna, I've got the, the bare edgeable. I've got that at home. I can't bear to be without you, which of course is our, you know, our thing. So I've got to uh, make that for you. But you know I've made Debbie a card because she gave me some homework to do. Oh, did you? Yeah, which was to make the TP card, which I've done. Yeah, awesome. It's yeah. on my Facebook page if you would like to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Craig's not interested at all. He's seen it. He's so over it. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to have a look, um, Derek Marks, Crafter's Companion. Um, and there is my TP card. <coughs> well, if, you, if you can't wait that long, <coughs> terrible cough you've got there, Craig. Um, if you can't wait that long, um, don't worry because you'll see it in the flesh in the studio tomorrow uh, on Second Chance Sunday where I'll be here with Debbie. It'll be on display during our show in the morning, Craig, as well. I think I'll put it here where you can really see it. Do you know what I mean? During That'd be a good show idea. In the morning. Yeah. Maybe be a good idea. Anyway, where were so, we? So you've got your thanks note, there. What we can do is we've die cut the word thanks. You could use your sprays, your uh, tacky glue if you want. I've just ran ones already through my Xyron machine, which we uh, hopefully will have back at some point soon. So let's move that one out the way. So let's bring in, I've already done uh, the box base. So what I'm just about to do is if I just bring in the top lid, uh, of my box and I'm just going to before I actually assemble the box let's just bring in our um, die cut area and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dotty tape runner because it means I can go right over the uh, die cut sentiment so over the top so we're just going to go right over now this is where you could obviously use uh, some acetate you could use some um, 3d foam tape where you could create your shaker cards you can be doing that but then straight away already, we've got that Centura Pearl from the lid coming through, so you can leave it like that if you so <laughs> wish. You can enhance the embossing with a bit of colour if you want. But then what we're just going to do is let's just take these off and we're just going to just pop them back into place. So we're paper piecing these back in. And with the colour tones that we used here with the Honey Pot as well as the um, Plum Jam, I just think the turquoise works really, really well with this one. So we're just, just uh, pressing them back into place and although they just slot in just nicely, nothing stopping you if you wanted to do, just create a wee uh, off shadow if you wanted to. But we're just going to just pop it right back into place. We're just going to finish this one off and then we're just then going to assemble the lid for the box. It's always um, easier to create the lid of your box or decorate the lid of your box before you assemble it. So we're just going to press that into place. And then all that I'm just going to do, let's just take our uh, tape runner and we're just going to go around the edges and then we're going to finish a really nice box. So it obviously could be a gift for someone. So someone just to say thank you or, you know, you could be um, making some thank you cards if you wanted to and pop them all in here with the envelopes and then that could be a nice gift uh, or something to sell when the craft fairs are back up and running again. So we're just going to pop these ones in. So if we then pop that one over the top. Now I think, have I done my lid as my base? My base is my lid. I think I have. So let's pop it that way. I have as well. Rookie error, but look, check out the bottom. Who doesn't love a bottom with the thanks on it? We've got that one just there. So if I turn that one round. <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing to see here. Uh, Craig, I would just like to say, thanks. Thanks for all of that. Lovely. We'll do some more demos later, shall we? Shall we? When you've composed yourself. You could have that on the top. You could have that anywhere you like. Yeah, yes, may well you disappear. May, I suppose you want me to pick up where you've left off now, don't you? And be mm. the true professional that I am. Just imagine that is, is of course, uh, <laughs> the lid of your box. Yeah, don't, don't. You've got yeah, the lid of your box, but stop. keeping in mind you've, you've got home, you've got congratulations, you've got birthday. Craig, stop you know, speaking You've now. got friends, you've got love. Craig, just stop. So just stop. 
have a little have a little lie down obviously Saturday mornings are a bit too much you know what I mean see I thought I was in safe hands with Debbie on a Saturday morning and look what happened and you roll in all unnecessary um right should we get back to where we were then I, I don't know where we were I don't know I don't know where we go from there we're only half we're only half an hour in and we've got eleven thousand pounds worth of product to give away yet Right, let's get started then, shall we? Um, here are your Cutting Embossic Classic Everyday Folders. So with these, uh, which are just uh, awesome, aren't they? You get your birthday, congrats. You get friend and home and love and thanks. They come for free. They come for free in this bundle. £51.96, $59.96. So a lovely little saving going on there, uh, which is fantastic. Um, let me just quickly answer some questions because there are lots and lots of people who are coming through on the comments as well with questions. Um, RR on YouTube, that's her real name, you know? Like RR, it sounds like a dog, doesn't it? Or a seal, RR um, on YouTube says, are they dye or pigment, sink? Pig pigment inks? They are dye inks, the water reactives, aren't they, Craig? Just nod. Thank you, yes, very good, good boy. Um, right, <laughs> that's quite well trained. Um, <laughs> I have no idea why I just agreed to that. <laughs> yeah, I know you could have said yes to anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah I could have. Yeah, you've just, I literally could you've have just said yes signed to your house over to me and yeah, just nodded away. Yeah, that's fine. Um, any, anyway, yeah, that's with the decking as well, please. Thank you. Uh, that will come in for free. Well, listen, it is anniversary time. You've got to throw something in for free, haven't you? <laughs> uh, right, OK. This is far too much fun for a Saturday morning, isn't it? Um, do the colours in the ink pads match to the alcohol markers and how best to coordinate, uh, Denise is asking. Well, let me show you the selection um, of the inks. And I don't know if there's a, a, an absolute correlation between the, the ink pad colours um, and the markers, but obviously you will find the closest in your burgeoning collection, whether it be tri-blends or classics or aqua markers or whatever it may be. You're going to love it. Uh, Francesca on YouTube says, always love watching your Craig's, uh, your demos, Craig. Very clear, methodical and organised. Also, enjoy keeping up with your makes on Instagram, Derek. Uh, doing a fab job. Actually, the word you were looking for, Francesca, there was make. Because uh, there's just been one so far. Although, I do have the ornate uh, baubles, edgeable, and I have I have cut that out and made a card. Oh, more has happened than just the teepee, you know. And can I just say, anyone yes. that's new viewing and just joining in today, please don't judge me on uh, my work today. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to be amazing, Craig. You are going to be amazing. In fact, Craig uh, said on, on, a, on a comment on, I don't know if it was my page or, yeah, it was, it was on my Crafters Companion page, that who's going to be the expert today? And I was like... Well, unless you've had a really, really big bump on your head, I'm really hoping it's you. <laughs> because, <laughs> because don't let one teepee card, one swallow doesn't make a summer, Craig. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Have you not heard that expression before? No. Have you not? No. One swallow, swallow, sorry. I can't spit it out. One swallow doesn't make a summer. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that before. Uh, any good books you can recommend at the moment, Craig? No, don't. Um, anyway, uh, right. Uh, I can't read those because I honestly, not because there's anything wrong in them, it's just that I can't actually see to read at the moment because <laughs> there's tears in my eyes. Anyway, so let's talk sparkle pens then, shall we? Let's change the subject, probably a good idea. Um, sparkle pens. Now, sparkle pens are, well, I, I say they're amazing. I'm waiting to be wowed by Craig. I know they're going to be amazing, but I know that the deal that we've got for you as part of our £11,000 worth of product giveaway in this show offer means that you get the six selection, which is autumn and winter which is rather cool. I love that sparkle. It's quite, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite, mmm, I like that. I'd like to be able to read the names, but with tears in my eyes, I can't. So autumn and winter you get in a six pack. Oh, a six pack. I can only dream of a six pack. Um, then you get Coastal Cottage, which is uh, another lovely collection of, I'd love beach huts in all of those colors, wouldn't you? Now that's where you stop paying at $49.98 or $65.90 because spring, summer, Hello, look at that selection. That comes for free in this bundle. And obviously, Craig with his amazing demos uh, in a moment will show us. I've got a little flick book to flick through here. 
I don't think I've had a flick book before. So let's have a little flick through, shall we? Um, which is wonderful. So you can obviously, oh, you, you can paint onto your stamps and stamps, stamp with your sparkle pens. Well, that's a good idea because I've got stamps and not a lot of ink so far. So probably I need some sparkle pens and then have a little go with this. Let's see, I'm really good at this flicking thing, as you can see. Um, spray an already stamped image with water and then stamp again. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Oh, this is wonderful. Can I take this home? <laughs> I, I love this. I love this. Look, it, it shows you on the back what, what I'm reading to you. Third generation, spray a second generation image again with water. Spray the card with light mist and stamp again. Oh, so it's all the different techniques. Oh, you can do a resist as well. Well, listen, Craig will tell you what you can do with these and what you can't do with them. Well, it's what you can do with them that matters, isn't it, really? Um, inking onto a sponge and pouncing. So you, you, can, <laughs> you can pounce on them as well, Craig. What does that mean? Whether you've got your blending tools or you've got any of your um, your tools at home where you can do your inking, whether it's your stencil, stencil brushes or anything like that, you can do a pouncing technique. So if you are maybe familiar of what you can do with the sparkle pots, you can do exactly the same with the sparkle pens because they are exactly the same, they're just in a pen format. How awesome! How awesome is that beautiful, isn't it? 49 dollars $65.90. So you get the autumn and winter, you get the coastal cottage and spring summer comes in there for free in the deal, which is amazing. Now, I want to see these in action. Are we going to, is our next demo seeing these in action, Craig? Because I want to see what kind of tip they've got and how they flow. Absolutely, and then what I've done as well is I've actually taken, uh, well, these are the sets we're going to use, the spring, summer within this one. The three colours that I'm specifically going to be using from this one is our um, pink champagne, we've got moonlight, and then we're also going to be using solar red. So it gives you an idea on the back of the ones that you actually get within each set. And with two of them specifically, what I've done, one of them is kind of what we'd say is primed. The other two I haven't primed yet, we will do that just to show you. So so this is how it's going to be once we start using it. So you can see there it just looks as a normal pen. However, when it comes out of the packaging, you've got this uh, yellow band right along the bottom just there. So what you're wanting to do is just um, screw off the top that you can see just there and then we just take that uh, yellow band off. You don't need that, that can just go in the bin. So we bin that and then all that we just do is we just screw this back on into place. So just press while you're turning it around just so that you've got no um, gap in between. And then I'm just going to just do exactly the same with this one ready to go as well. So I'm just taking the yellow band off and then we're just going to just turn that all the way around that you can see just there. So then what I'm just going to do is this one's kind of already primed. What I mean by that, all that you just need to do is just kind of like activate it. You want to get all that sparkle um, just flowing around the pen so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to use uh, or hold up all three and uh, just about caught that one. Um, just going to use all three of them uh, just to give them a good shake. Like with the sparkle pens, what you would do is obviously give the, the tubs a, a, a wee bit of a swirl just to get that sparkle just flowing all the way around. Very similar to the pen. And then all that I'm just going to do now is I've just got just a wee bit uh, or a wee cup of some water and I've got a, a large paintbrush. It doesn't have to be a large, it could really be any size. However, what we're going to do is bring in this, some watercolour card so again, it is, this one is 7x5 because we're going to be running it through our embossing folder. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to give this a good coverage with the actual ink, and um, with the water, sorry. And we're just going to just lay that water down. Laying it down just so that we can then go over the top with our sparkle pens. So what I'm just going to do is let's just give this just another, just a quick shake. And you can hear the ball bear. If I go quiet for a second... You get that ball bearing just within the middle of the pen. And then that's just really just uh, act, kind of activating. It's getting all that sparkle just to uh, flow around the pen. So then what I'm just going to do is if I bring the one that I've not used yet, 
So if I take this lid off, you've got a nice white, crisp, clean um, brush nib that you can see right at the top just there. So what you want to do is at the side, um, just embossed in black, I'm not sure if you can quite see it, but it's embossed just in black there, it says push. Now don't actually push it, Leanne says it should actually say lightly press. So what you want to do is just lightly press and then you're going to start to see the actual, they will start to see the sparkle ink just starting to come through the chamber and you can see we've got some just starting to come out there. So we're just activating that and we've now got that all the way down to the tip of the sparkle brush. So then what I'm just going to do is let's just set that one to the side and this one we also need to do. So again with this one here, just lightly press and then just press it a few times just so you can start to see the ink just starting to uh, come to the actual base. Lightly press and then we can see it coming down the tip. So then all that I'm just going to do is just start to get that sparkle ink just flowing and we can see that's it there ready to go. So then this one should already be done because I've already been using this one but let's just get that so the colour is flowing which it is just there. So ready to go now so let's just bring these in. What I am just going to do just because I showed you that I'm just going to just wet this cardstock just a wee bit more. So we're just going to give that a nice coverage of water. Then what I'm going to do is let's bring in the moonlight. So again just getting all of that colour just to activate onto our watercolour card. So there is one of them. Let's go for the pink champagne which is this one and we're just going to go just within the middle. Just so, it's, there. so it's a really good open flow then when you've you've already uh, washed some water over your card. Absolutely. Like it's, it looks like a dream. It does. It really does. Now you can go a lot more intense if you want in some areas or what you can then do uh, again right to the top there, a wee bit more intense. However, what we're going to do is just go back in just with some water and then we're just going to just start to kind of like our own kind of ombre effect and we're just starting to just pull that colour in. We're pulling it down, we're kind of like blending it together. So let's just get that water again and then we're just going to just start to just blend that in. So I'm just dabbing some of that excess water off and just carry on going all the way down. And then if you want, I'm just going to go into that one area there, just start to blend that in again. If you wanted to go back in with a wee bit more of a, say the deeper yellow for instance, or the moonlight, then you can do. So then we're just going to just start to just blend that one in. Of course, I'm just starting to pick up some of that colour at the side, but actually that works quite well. It's kind of giving a, a sunset effect that you can see. It's really cool. Let's just even add just a wee bit more of, I call it the pink, it is the uh, solar red. And then again, we're just going to just start to just blend that in just to make it a wee bit deeper, just in at the bottom, just there. And then, you know, you can start to go add uh, more colour. You could be more intense. You can go more uh, light on in this one here. So all you would do is uh, either leave it to dry at room temperature and it will dry flat. You can uh, dry it with um, your heat tool. What will happen is that will start to curve the edges. Absolutely fine. You just need to weigh that down. But then what we're going to do is if I bring in, uh, I don't really want to die cut that one because it's still a wee bit wet. So let's, have I got one? No, let's bring in just a bit of cardstock because what I want to do is uh, you would die cut this after it has been um, dried. So let's just show you what it looks like once it's been die cut. And would you let it dry naturally or would you... Um for, force, not force it, but, but you know, to. like speed it up in some way. So I usually what I would tend to do is I would tend to just use a heat, actually, do you know what Derek, we've got loads of time, don't we? We've got loads of time, let's go for it. Let's just um, bring in our heat tool and then I'm just going to force dry it, um, as I was saying. So let's just take, I'm just going to, Derek, do you have any <clears> questions with that? It's just I'm away to yeah, just I've, lean I've, over. Yeah, I've got a screen I'm full of them. I'm just going to wait to just plug uh, this in. Okay, absolute screen full of them. Um, I bought myself a heat tool yesterday as well and some embossing powders. Oh, I know. I feel like a confessional. Honestly, the, the amount of things I've added to my collection, because actually when you start, you realise, right, okay, well, actually, where I thought I just need this and I just need that, then I thought, well, you know, you can't keep watching people emboss without being able to get in on the action yourself. So I bought myself a heat tool and then some clear embossing powder and then some red embossing powder and then some gold embossing powder and then I think some silver embossing powder as well. And I was like, and then, of course, a matte, you know, a heat proof matte, which you need to go underneath it as well. 
And, and do you know what? Yesterday was a boring life admin day for me. So I had hoovering and cleaning and ironing and boring stuff to do. Um, and so I haven't even got all that stuff out of the bag yet. And now I'm here for the next four days. I'm like, when can I get that going? So again, it's going to have to be Tuesday um, playtime. Just back, back to the ink pads. Um, we had a few questions coming in about um, ink pads, um, Craig. Someone was asking for some advice on the best type of ink pads to go to. If they were just going to go for one set of ink pads or one type of ink pad, and they were generally going to use it for colouring backgrounds, um, and I know it's difficult to do hard and fast recommendations, but is, is, there a, is there any merit in breadth of colour within one or the other or one that is more versatile, you think? Or what would be your thoughts on that? What I would tend to say, if you can only go for like one set of ink pads, and what I mean by that is obviously we have our water reactive, we have our opaque and we've got our quick dry. If you can only go for one set, I personally would go for water reactive because with water reactive, you know, you can do your blending, you can do your water techniques, uh, you can do, uh, you can use it through your stencils, you can use it through your folders, you can do a lot of things with them. Plus, you can actually still uh, stamp with them just because they're water reactive. It doesn't mean that you can't stamp a sentiment or anything like that. With the quick dry, which are simply incredible, but they are exactly that, you know, they are quick dry. So you can use them for a bit of stenciling and that, but there's not a lot of uh, give with them because they are quick dry. Uh -huh. So uh, I would always say if you could maybe only go for one set or one selection, if you go with water reactive first, because then that just opens up uh, all the uh, different techniques that you can do, um, as well as kind of like normal stamping. You just need to remember if you're using quick dry ink pads, um, once you stamp, you've seen me do it time and time again, once, once you've stamped, if you rub that over with your hand, it doesn't move, it doesn't budge, it doesn't bleed, it doesn't do anything. Water reactive, you can still stamp with them, but if you were to go over the top with your hand or that quickly, you will get a wee bit of smearing. It will dry and then you'll get no smearing and you just need to watch for these things. So I would say uh, water reactive is always the best one to go for first if you can only Lovely. go for one set. Well, that's for Joe on uh, Joe Crafty on uh, Facebook. That's a good name. Or did you just decide I'm going to put my surname into Facebook as Crafty? I think that's brilliant. If it's your real surname, genius, even better. What an apting surname to be with us. Uh, that would be brilliant. Um, Kathy on YouTube says, never thought of using water first. You learn something new each day. Um, we hear about storing markers all the time and the advice on storing markers. What's the, uh, what's the go to on the sparkle pens, Craig, in terms of storing them? Exactly the same when it comes to um, our, you know, our classics, our tri blends, aqua markers, anything like that. Store them horizon, horizon, horizontally. Horizontally. Yes. So store them that way in your pen trays. That's the way that the, the pen trays have been designed. And then if you do find that you know they start to uh, maybe dry out a bit, then you can you know turn them upright or downright just for that ink to flow. But always same with your ink pads um, and as well as your pens. Always uh, store them kind of um, upright, so to speak. And then if they start to dry out, then you can turn them around. But yeah, that's the best way to do it. And which way, which way are you standing today, Craig? Uh, I am standing um, kind, kind of... Um, I don't, actually, I don't know how to answer that one. Do I really? <laughs> don't know how to answer Just that one. Just say vertically then. Vertically. Thank I'm definitely you. standing vertically. Correct answer. Uh, you've redeemed those points that you didn't get earlier. Uh, Barbara says, I've just got my glass mat uh, last week, so it's time to get to work. We'll make my day sunnier on a rainy weekend. Oh, it's rubbish weather here. It's awful. It's suddenly gone really, really cold mm -hmm. and wet and windy as well. It's horrendous. Um, Linda says, oh, this will be a subjective question, Craig. Um, which is the easiest to use, sparkle pens or inks? It depends on, um, you know, um, what's comfortable with your hands. You know, it's just obviously like a pen, a bit thicker than a pen, of course. But then when it comes to your sparkle inks, it's uh, the paintbrush that you're using. So I know paintbrushes can tend to be a bit thinner than this one, depending on obviously the size that you use. So it's really what you feel comfortable doing. Keeping in mind with your paintbrush, if we're using this one here, you've got that uh, larger head at the top. However, with this one, you've just got the, the wee nib at the top. But it's really just, um, when I say trial and error, it's just give them a wee shot, give each of them a shot and see what you feel comfortable. But they both do exactly the same. You've just got a different way to um, actually um, 
What's the word I'm thinking apply. of? Uh, apply, that's it. With that, that inks or the just pens. Rem just remind me which, which paper you're on as you're embossing this, um, Craig. So this is our water reactive uh, cardstock because we've used some of our sparkle pens within these ones here. So now that that's dried, what we're just going to do is we're just going to just pop that in the middle. So what I'm going to do is have it so that we've got the, the nice yellow at the top. And then I'm just going to close it. So just like you would be uh, using any embossing folder. So let's bring in our uh, two cutting plates. And once again, just because I want that uh, embossed detail. So where it's all black, that's what's going to emboss. And then we've got the L, we've got the V and the E that will also die cut. But this heart will also emboss as well. So just putting in our metal shim. And then we're just going to run that one through our um, Gemini Junior as well. So I always tend to do it with the hinge at the top. And then that way there's a lot more give. And what I mean by that is if I just quickly turn this around is if you pop it with the hinge at the top you've got all that pressure going towards the bottom if you were to pop it this end first if you had a chance of the actual folder buckling if you were then all that pressure getting pushed up towards the top there is a chance that you could damage your embossing folder by going to the end so if you just pop it to the hinge way first you'll be absolutely fine <gasps> Craig quick so quick question sorry it was related on something that you've just done but um it's, it's a good question. I, I like it as well. Oh, they all jump out of the way as soon as I'm about to ask a question. The, you know if you buy a glass mat, I, I, I've got one. Is, yeah. is that heat proof or do you need to put something under to protect a woodwork surface, for instance? So if you had your glass mat and a wood table, would you need more protection if you were using your heat tool, do you think? No, not at all. Your glass mat will take all the heat. It'll take, you know, whether it's the heat, whether it's embossing, whether it's inking, whether it's stamping, it'll be absolutely fine. You don't need to put any additional um, coverage or anything underneath it. Lovely. You can go straight onto your glass mat. So a bit like our first demonstration, that's what we've just done there. But then on this one with the exact same colours, I went a lot lighter. We went very, very light, so a very more pastel colour. So let's use um, one that I've already done on this one. Because what we've done is we've just popped some acetate on the back. So there is the sentiment just there. So we've got some acetate and I've just popped some um, foam tape all the way around the back. So then let's just bring in some gold sequins. So what I'm going to do first is let's just take the back end off of there. And then we're just going to add all the sequins into the middle. So we've got the L, we've got the V, and as always, we've got the E to finish that off. And because the heart actually embosses, you know, there's nothing stopping you. Because we've got the die cut letters that have come out you can then just use a die cut heart just to fill in the place if you want but let's just bring this one in and we're just going to pop the sequence into place now I've got just a piece of black card that's just going to just sit just nicely over the top we can press that into place you can see now we've got our shaker all the way through let's just bring in our tape runner. So I've got some gold Centura Pearl and some of our black matte card. So we're just going to layer this one up. Now, yeah, I've used the sparkle pens. However, you could use your water reactive ink pads. You could be using plain cardstock. You could be using patterned uh, papers if you want. Have a look, see what you've got in your stash, whether it's paper pads or cardstock, and uh, start to use that as well. So we're just going to layer these ones up. So let's go all the way around. We'll just finish this one off at the side. Place that one over the top. And then all that I've just done, using my hard die cut nesting uh, dies, you can see just there, I've just taken that one. And then I'm just going to just bring in just um, a foam pad. We're just going to just lift that one up just to give that just an extra wee bit of height. Pop that one over the middle of the embossed heart, finishing that off. Now you can completely change the colours if you so wish, or leave it as it is, there we go, go that way. So you've got love. So we've got the love, we've got the shaker, and then all that embossed detail along the top. So if I tip that forward, so you can see all that embossed detail, you could pick that up with some additional colour, maybe some gems, pearls, any additional bits of sequins. But then there we go. So we've used our folder with our watercolour card and used the sparkle pen. So those were the spring and summer, and it was moonlight, it was pink champagne, and it was also solar red that we used to create this card. Uh, Craig? Yes. You're very welcome. Very welcome. Um, <laughs> uh, listen, who wants all the sparkle pens?
Come on, hands up. Oh, go on then, of course I do. Um, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, if any randomly go missing in the studio, you probably know why. Uh, let me show you what you're getting then in your sparkle pens because it is three fabulous packs of them and you're only paying for two. So, first up is your Autumn Winter, uh, which is your Smoked Quartz, Olive Jade, Harvest Moon, Starry Sky, Holly Leaf, and Red Berry. And then we have Coastal Cottage, which I love. Beautiful, fresh, fresh, lovely colours. Linen, peach tree, sea spray, magnolia, cornflower blue, and pistachio, a colour that I'm growing to love more and more each day. Uh, and that's where you stop paying, because you're only paying for two of the packs here. But pack number three, which is spring summer, which has your pink champagne, moonlight, soft jade, solar red, which Craig was just using, emerald green, a blue topaz, they are for free saving you uh, 25 pounds or what is it 25 pounds or 32 nearly 33 dollars which is brilliant so all three of those packs for the price of two because Craig and I have 11,000 pounds worth of products to give away before oh gosh we've only got an hour and a bit uh, in this show and there's also a nice prize you can win as well which I will remind you of in just a moment but first let me show you what else is in the show and stop speaking so quickly slow down man Whew. how about some Christmas sentiment stamps. These are really, really fantastic. And this is basically, this is a half price offer. So you buy two, you get two free. You do, and they're all Christmas as well, which is brilliant. 11 pounds and 98, 15 dollars and 90, which is really, really cool. Right. Next up, we've got some essential sentiment stamps for you. Um, this is really, really cool. Now on this one, you buy the essential sentiments and the floral friends stamps, and you get the sassy sentiments um, absolutely free as part of our let's give away 11,000 pounds worth of product in this show as part of our 250,000 pounds worth of product we're giving away across the whole week, which remember finishes tomorrow. Now, of course, you're gonna need some blending tools for your ink pads, no matter which inks you are using. And this is the square set which is lovely so this is all the essentials you need so it comes with the brayer it comes with the heat proof mat comes with the and I think it, it is it the tool and the refills that basically come along for the ride in this one yes it is so you buy the brayer and the craft mat we send the blending tool itself which comes with three doodars anyway um, and you get the pack of 10 more doodars I mean by that the actual pads themselves that go on to the tool, £19.50, $24. We've got so, so many people. Any more questions you've got, by the way, please do get them through. Let me remind you of, let me remind myself where I've put them first. Ah, the Sara Signature Embossing Folder Collection. Now this is brilliant because you get three of um, Sara Signature embossing folders, which are really, really cool. So you get, um, on this one, you get the vintage lace, Venetian um, lace. Then you get two from the Rose Gold collection, which are really, 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 really cool. Love those. And then you stop paying at 17 pounds 97, 23 93 in dollars. Uh, and you get Crafty Friends and Rick Rack, those two embossing folders for free, which is brilliant. And I only realised, I only realised by, because you know what boys are like about for reading manuals, the, reading my Gemini manual and the sandwich combination, that, because um, I had a little bit of an issue with my embossing mat. It wasn't a problem with the embossing mat, it was a problem with the user. Um, so it's not a bad workman blaming the tools at all, it was me completely. So I do need a new embossing mat, but actually, for a regular embossing folder, Craig, I didn't need that anyway. I just need the I just need the two plates in the embossing folder and it'll go through maybe the metal shim if need be. Well, Derek didn't realize that thought my embossing days were over. <laughs> You know, what you're saying is right as well. So when it comes to if you're doing embossing with the folder, so it is, uh, for instance, you know, if, if for instance, we're about to use uh, Sarah's uh, signature one that Derek was just showing you there. So this is what we would say is a 
traditional style embossing folder. What I mean by that is it's not a 3D embossing folder. So for that one there, what you're going to need is your two cutting plates. When we use the cut and emboss folder, we use the two cutting plates. So when it comes to your embossing folders, you just need the plates. The metal shim isn't essential. The reason we tend to put that in is just to really uh, make that uh, embossing just that wee bit more um, proud. It makes it really stand out that wee bit more. So the plates really are very simple to use. And you tend to do the same things over and over again or the same combinations. So you get used to them and you begin to learn them without even thinking about them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight on. We're going to use that one. So this one here, as I just showed you there, when it comes to the rose gold, it's the confetti burst. Now this one works great with so many different things, especially things like our foil press. If you remember, we've got some uh, explosion uh, sentiment, um, not sentiments, but um, foil press stamps. We've got some uh, creator cards that have got the same kind of uh, theme or style. So you can really be bringing in your other uh, products from us as well. And if you've got other brands out there that's got a very explosion kind of look, to them, why not bring that in too? So what we're just going to do is use in some of our Lilac Centura Pearl on this one. So we're just going to pop that one just straight in over the top and we're going to just do it that way. So again, what it is, is our two cutting plates. So that's all that we would absolutely need for this one here. However, what I am just going to do, just to make that emboss just stand out even more, I'm just going to pop my metal shim into place and then our top cutting plate. So we're going to run that all the way through. So with this card here that we're going to do, it's a very simple card in the the fact is we're going to let the boss and do the speaking for itself we are going to add a sentiment the sentiment i am going to stamp in water reactive just to show that you know although it's water reactive you can still stamp a sentiment like i have been saying so if i then open this one for you to see now look at all of that detail awesome so absolutely incredible that's centura pearl now you could be doing that into acetate you could be doing that into vellum what about glitter cards as well what about um your mirror card you know any of these different things if you've got any of our adorable scorable you know from hunky dory what we have on the shows you can be embossing them as well so many different things so then what i'm going to do is if i move that one out to the side so this one all that i'd done beforehand exactly the same but all that i just done was to add a few gems just in some of the wee areas there not many but just a few so that's that one all done ready to go so then what i'm doing is i'm just bringing in uh, just a wee bit of our watercolor uh, not watercolor card white smooth cardstock on this one here and then i'm going to bring in our uh, essential sentiments so i'm going to bring in let's and then we're also going to bring in celebrate so we'll do let's celebrate so it's the essential essential sentiments so you've got your things like love thank you happy birthday wish you uh, me, uh you make me so you can start to build your own sentiment as well so then what i'm just going to do is bringing in my small uh, stamping platform so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm just going to position my stamp first if you've got your large stamping press then you could be using that one but i'm just going to just position them into place so i know exactly where that i want them onto my stamping platform just here so I can go over the top and then that means I've got the, the right position that I want between the let's and celebrate. So then let's bring in the dams and wine. So again, this is uh, water reactive. So this sort of sentiment stamping you would tend to do with your quick dry and you're going to get an absolute detailed stamp every single time. Water reactive, you can still use and you'll still get that sentiment coming through, but you'll get a slight more of a distressed kind of look to it. So what I'm just going to do is turn that the right way and then we're just going to just press into place. So I'm just pressing that down, getting that pressure going and I remove that and then there we go. We can see we've got that let's celebrate. So this is the one that I done with our quick dry. And then this is the one we've just done with Water Reactive. So you can see the difference. But again, it just goes to show that absolutely you can still do your sentiment stamping with Water Reactive. So let's move all that out of the way and then we can just start to assemble this together. So let's bring in our tape runner. So I've just uh, made my own uh, 8x8 card blank and I've just brought in some, again, white smooth card and then just some of our deep purple um, Centura Pearl. So let's just layer this all up together and we're going to pop it onto the card. So it's a nice sizable card, it's a statement card, but it doesn't really take long at all to make. 
So we're just going to just press that into place. And I've just done my mats and layers the same way as I would always do. You've seen me doing them with the guillotine, just using the quarter of an inch increments. So that can then go into place there. So we can just use our uh, tape runner again, all the way around, or you could use your adhesive of choice. So I'm just going to bring this in. I've also got a border strip that can just go down the side. So then we can just position it either straight or you can do it a bit of an angle. Let's do it a bit of an angle. So press that into place. Let's bring in our strip. So it's exactly the same cardstock. And I've just brought in some organza ribbon. So we're just going to pop that one in just there. Let's just bring in a bit of our uh, hot glue and we're just going to add this bow into place. And then what we can also do is bring in that sentiment that we've just stamped. So we can bring this one in. So we will use the one that we've just done with the water reactive. And then I'm just going to just bring in some uh, foam pads. So let's just chop that excess off. Add in a wee bit extra height. Of course, you don't have to add height if you don't want to. You can just keep it um, one dimensional. So let's just take these ones off. Craig, just a quickie. Yeah. Uh, Joe says, um, how do you stop the embossing breaking the coating in the center of pearl? She's only using the two clear plates and sometimes she's noticed that the white breaks through. It could be, um, part of that's probably with uh, a lot of pressure within your machine. So what to do is if you take out one of the cutting plates and uh, reduce it. So try with maybe just one cutting plate in your plastic shim. That'll make the layers a wee bit thinner. Um, if it's maybe too thin, then do your cutting plate, then do your uh, magnetic shim, then your cutting, uh, start that again your cutting plate, your yep. magnetic shim, and then your plastic shim. Just have a wee bit of a play, but it, by the sounds of it, it's to do this, all that intense pressure coming from your machine. So just have a wee bit of a play with your plate combination. Just try and make it a wee bit thinner in that aspect, and that should stop the cracking of your Centura Peril. So oh, then there we go. Look at that. So we've got, you know, a relatively quick and simple <laughs> card. Yeah, I had the layers already done, but just goes to show, let's celebrate. So purple and lilac, but it could be yellow and oranges. It could be, you know, reds and greens. It could be so many different colors. You know, go all golds and metallics if you want as well. Or do the techniques we've been doing with water reactive and the sparkle pens and creating this one as well. So many different things you can have fun with. And can I just say, how awesome is this deal? £17.97. $23.93. Now, one thing I did notice when I went out to some craft retailers, and I'm not here to knock the retailers or any other company at all, but you can pay a lot, can't you, for one single embossing folder, and you think, I love it, I love it, but I don't love it like £15 worth. Do you know what I mean? For one. And when you fall in love with one, you know you're going to use it and use and use and use, and very soon you'll think, okay, well, I need another one now, because I really love that one, but like anything in life, you use it too much, you, you, know, you, you want to try something different. This gets you five, you're only paying for three. Three of them are Sara Signature as well, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, and you've got the two that come free, which are very, very universal. I mean, I have to say that Rick Rack, you know, I've no secrets here, that Rick Rack, one of my favorites, because I can see all the potential. And don't forget the embossed detail as well, just one more thing. Uh, it's always gonna be one more thing now with me. Um, that to get your gilding waxes out on the emboss detail as well. Because I just think, oh, that interactivity of creating that wonderful shine that you can then buff up as well. Anyway, listen, enough of me. I'm, I'm not here to be the expert. I'm just learning along the way, but I'm, all ideas are always sparking. Now, you know we've got a number of amazing anniversary deals right the way over, uh, well, I say over the week. The week is nearly gone. We've got today and tomorrow to action your anniversary deals if you want to take advantage of that. If you want a Gemini machine, this is definitely the week to get one. And if you've been thinking about it, you're on the fence, you need to kind of nudge the other half and say, look, Christmas isn't that far away, darling. Um, do you know what I mean? This is the best week to get that sorted out because your Gemini machines are on bundles this week for the anniversary that come with £100. In fact, it's over $100, nearly $140 worth of free products. And in the free products, can I, I'll show you in just a second, but I've got, I've got the little bundle of... Oh, he's done it. He's done it. I've knocked over my, my ink tower. It's 
It's all right, don't you worry, Director Daniel, it'll all be sorted. Not in 10 seconds, maybe, but you know, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Or maybe 10 seconds, you know, like people have done less in 10 seconds, haven't they? Um, right, there you go, one more. And then I'm going to show you what comes free. So your accessories. So you think, right, lots comes for free already with your um, Gemini anyway. But you could see why I was so clumsy. There's lots of big bits here to be clumsy with. So I'll just show you um, that you get one of our, our, our big um, font sentiments, stamp and die set. Um, you get a Crafty Notions embossing folder, which is really, really cool. You get a 3D embossing folder as well, which is the Believe one, which is really, really cool. You get a Lily Collection um, Simple Sentiments set of dies, which is cool. You get this die, which I think is really, really cool. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. And you also get this, oh, sorry, sorry. You get that stamp and die set, which is huge, which is a photo frame. It's called uh, Primrose Corner. Yes, Primrose Corner, that one. There's so much to it. And you also get this one here, which is um, your uh, Christmas tree one, which is just perfectly in time for Christmas. So that is the, oh, I've done it again. That is the hundred pounds over $130 worth, I know. Honestly, in rehearsals, Craig, we were absolutely, weren't we? We were, we were both absolutely amazing. And it's all gone wrong in the live show. Are, are you ready to pick up the baton while I pick up the pieces here? I've got to show you something else first though, haven't I? Because there's more anniversary deals to talk about, isn't there? There's not just that one. If you want a Gemini Junior, it's just as good a time to get one um, on an anniversary deal because for $139.99 or $199.95, you will get the same £100 or $135 worth of free goodies with your Gemini, <laughs> Gemini Junior machine. I'm still crashing and banging absolutely everything here. Um, that's incredible. I mean, really, really incredible. And listen, if you want cutting plates for your uh, machines as well, we're doing bundles, anniversary deal bundles, where if you buy the clear cutting plates for either your Junior or your larger Gemini, you get the storage bag absolutely free of all charge, which is really good. So there is the deal uh, for the larger Gemini there, $19.89 or $29.90. We do the same for the Junior as well. So it's the two clear cutting plates and you get the storage for free, which is amazing as part of our 11,000 pounds worth of product to give away before the end of this show. Um, and we're also doing an ultimate crafting bundle as well. This is good. This is really, really good, this one. This is brilliant. I do need one of these, you're quite right, especially as it comes with a bag for life as well, which you could take to the supermarket, but I probably wouldn't because you would, you've got so much crafty stuff to store. So you get the tote bag, you get the low tack tape, you get a nine inch pair of straight scissors, precision tweezers there as well, and then you stop paying and you get the two pokey tools, the fine tip two glue, fine tip glue applicators, that's easy for you to say, you get two of them two glue applicators and the tacky glue, that comes for free. And your bundle there is $45.46 or $62.80. I missed everything you just said, Laura, sorry, because you, you said it just at the wrong time. Um, item one. Oh, yes, right. You've got to have this. You have got to have this. Oh, I don't want to go anywhere near those again. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. Right, okay. These are awesome. And this is where you need to get your gilding waxes involved with this bundle, let me tell you, because it's absolutely brilliant. Now, let me, let me run through what you are getting very, very carefully. Ornate Christmas tree, which is absolutely beautiful. You've got snowflake flurry, and you've also got elegant poinsettia, and you've also got deck the halls in my favorite, favorite font ever, I love it. And then you stop paying at $27.96, $39.80, and you get the 2020 Merry and Bright, absolutely free, just because we're celebrating our one year Crafters TV anniversary, which is a paper anniversary, how apt. It's brilliant. Um, so I would definitely go for this. I, don't you just love that font? It's the most awesome, bold, and modern. And doesn't that look like a solid aged metal plaque? I just think it's, I love it. I absolutely love this. In fact, I'll be honest with you, I can't see these many more times before they make their way to my 
my DHQ, I'm going to call it, which is where I craft at home. Um, I think they're going to have to, at some stage, they're going to have to come my way. Anyway, listen, this show isn't about me. It's about showing you and inspiring you. So let's go to the very, very inspirational, my mentor master, Master Yoda, as I like to call him on Facebook, um, in a term of endearment, the lovely Craig. Thank you very much, Derek. That was lovely. Right, what we're going to do with this one is we're going to use the uh, six by six. So this is our snowflake flurry that we're going to use on this one. And this is our um, 3D embossing folder. So that gives you extra depth and dimension with this one. Then what we're also going to do is we're going to use uh, one of the winter wishes sentiments. Now, all that we're going to do with this one is we're going to use this top one, which says winter wishes. However, the, uh, the reasoning for these ones is this could actually be the front of your card. Then you've got all these additional components that can then maybe go in the middle of your card. So you've got winter wishes and then you could put thinking of you at Christmas or winter wishes, uh, wishing you uh, happy and health and um, you can do so many different things and you can start to build up your own sentiment whether you want to have it all in the front of your card in the middle of your card or you want to do half and half it's entirely up to you so what we're going to do with this one we're going to use our uh, water reactive ink pads again so i'm using uh, back to our smooth card stock so i'm just going to just pop this into the middle so i've already cut this down to size already five by five and i'm just going to just place that just within the middle just like that then what we're going to do is because it's our 3d embossing folder what you're going to need is your base cutting plate and then your folder and your cardstock all ready to go. Then you're going to need your magnetic shim and then you're going to need your plastic shim for the top because these uh, folders are a bit thicker. You need your actual uh, top plate to be a, th a thinner combination. But what I am still going to do is add my metal shim just to really enhance that embossing. Um, Craig, just very, very quickly, and I don't want to interrupt because I know there's nothing more annoying than me constantly interrupting, but um, a lot of people, it was a revelation to them that you would use your metal shim in your embossing combination. So is it, is it just finding that right overall thickness of combinations or, or what would the metal plate be adding? Right, yo. So when it comes to whatever folder combination you use, so whether it's our traditional style, our 3D embossing, our cut and emboss, what you would do is follow the, the plate combination for that one. Then if you want, it's not, uh, it's not essential, but if you just want that embossing to just stand proud that wee bit more, then just add in your metal shim. It's a metal shim, it's really quite thin, so it's not going to add a lot of thickness or extra pressure. It's just going to be enough just to give that extra embossed detail. So as I say, whatever folder combination or whatever folder you're using, whatever plate combination you're using for that folder, then you can, if you want, add your metal shim. It's not essential. It's just giving that emboss just that wee bit extra, uh, kind of like oomph to it, and that wee bit extra detail. Oomph. Also, just to say as well, when it comes to things like your 3D embossing folder, always put your magnetic shim in first, then your plastic shim. Don't put your magnetic on the top because that's a magnetic sheet. You put that through your die cutting machine, your Gemini or any die cut machine. If you've got a magnetic sheet on the top, it's going to go around the metal rollers and there's a chance that your uh, um, magnetic shim will just roll up into the folder. So always make sure that your plastic shim is on the top and that'll stop that from happening. So well, on that one, can I, can I again, just one, one quick question because I, I think it's important and pertinent to what we're talking about here. Um, can you actually put inks into your embossing folders? Absolutely you Never can. Never thought of that. So what we can do, actually let's do it, wasn't planned, but let's just do that next just to show you. So let's bring this, so there we go, so that is it now embossed look at all of that detail wow that is now embossed you've got all the multiple layers when it comes to that 3d-ness so what we're then going to do is i have done it already because for this one what i want is the opposite side i want the deboss side so i've done nothing different than what i've done a moment ago i've mm -hmm. just flipped it over and we've got the deboss side just there so i need these two so i've got one that's embossed and one that's debossed so let's just set them to the side just for the time being and then let's just bring in a bit of uh, cardstock and then we'll just show you this one so you could either use the brayer that's in that um 
uh, bundle that you've got with your uh, Spectrum Noir. Or what you can just do is use your ink pad. So again, use your water reactive ink pad because it will wash off. You may actually uh, die or stain your folder. Don't worry about it. Your folder will work perfectly every single time. So what you can do is just have a feel. So this side here I know is my raised detail on this side. That is more embossed. So depending on which side you ink, it will determine um, the actual look that you get. So for instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cover all these snowflakes with um, my ink. So this one, let's just go for the parakeet. So all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to rub that over the top. So you can see that. I'll tell you what we'll do. So let's actually do both sides so that you can see the difference on each side. So that's the embossed side that I've just inked. And then here's uh, what we'd say is the deboss side. So I'm going straight over with my water reactive ink pad. You can, if you want, use your blending tool or, or as I say, use the brayer. So all that I'm then just going to do is bring in my piece of card. So we're just going to just close that in. So I'm going to try and not move the card because I don't want it to smudge. And then closing the folder. And then once again, we're going to do exactly the same as we've done before. So let's just bring in, we'll put in our metal shim because I want a wee bit extra detail. And then let's bring in our magnetic shim and then our plastic plate for the top. What and that's kind of card did you use there, Craig? So that one there, I'm just using the sm uh, smooth card stock. So if I'm just wanting kind of like a... There's nothing plain about the embossing, but if I just want a plain embossing, maybe with a bit, bit of ink, I'll always just use my smooth white cardstock, but you can use texture cardstock, watercolour cardstock, you can use any cardstock when it comes to adding ink. So what I'm going to do on this side, so if I lift this and I'm going to move that, so that is the deboss side. So that's the deboss side. So all that excess ink has gone into the snowflake. Wow. And obviously we've got that very rustic where the ink's gone on top of the folder on that bit there. But if I turn this one around, look at that one. So if I tip that one just Ooh. there. So look at that. So all that embossed snowflake, that is stayed white. And then all of the back of the folder is covered in that uh, color that you choose to, to use. On this occasion, it is the uh, parakeet. So you can have absolute fun. You can do it with your sparkle pens if you want as well. And then let's just see, I've got a bit of a white just here. So do you know, I love both of those equally, both sides, did you? Yeah, You'd they're been really, like, really oh. smart. Oh, I need to do that all over again <laughs> because I love both sides too much. So what I'm just doing now, what you could do, spritz it with water mm -hmm. and run it through again if you want and you're going to get a much more of a distressed look. Yep. But what I'm just doing here, the reason I'm, I'm cleaning it now, not later on, I want you to see it will kind of stay in your folder mm -hmm. uh, slightly, but it will not add, um, it will not... Um, affect any future embossing at all it will yep. still work perfectly every single time so we've got more of a tealy color folder you can maybe just see if i had a wee bit of white in the back mm. but it will not uh, affect <laughs> any of your embossing at all so yeah use your inks use your sparkle inks you can do all of that so let's bring these back in let's use uh, the embossed as well as the deboss side so i'm going to bring in the parakeet once again i'm going to bring in the crushed velvet and I'm also going to bring in the fuchsia. So a wee bit similar to what we've done right at the very start. And we're just going to start to just do a bit of blending over the top. So let's bring in the emboss. So this has all got that lovely embossed snowflake. So I'm just going to, let's bring a bit of parakeet. So what I'm just going to do with the parakeet, I'm just going to lightly go over the embossed snowflake. Oh, I'm so sorry. I said parakeet with green earlier. I thought it would be because some parakeets are green, aren't they? It's blue, isn't it? More about a yeah, bluey blue. turquoise colour, yeah. It's a lovely colour. Yeah, um, by, the, by the way, Craig, uh, that place you talked about earlier, is that near where you're from? Where was that? What was that? 3 d -ness. Oh, 3 d <laughs> Could be, yeah. <laughs> Just could be. ask it. I could, uh, I could be the name of my house, yeah. I could Maybe name my house that. Doing a bit for the Scottish Tourist Board again? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll be heading that way in about 10 days, actually. Can, you are, I, aren't you? I, I know. Believe it or not, I have I was about to say I've ta taken 10 days holiday. I've not kind of taken it. I've kind of been said, Craig, you've got some holidays that you need to take. So um, I, I am. I'm heading up to, to Scotland after Thursday. Well, that's good. That's a well-earned break, Craig, as well, actually. Sometimes sometimes someone like Craig needs to be told now. <laughs> Come on now. I do need to be you told, can, yeah. You have to stop every now and again. I know you work for Sarah, but... 
<laughs> you, you don't need to work at the same pace as Sarah. You can have some time off from time to time. In fact, we're saying take some time take off, Take some time before, off. Before it runs out. Because sometimes you have to take, like everyone's work, you know, like you get to a certain part of the year and suddenly HR, about, about three weeks usually before, someone in HR, not here of course, lovely HR here, um, but uh, <laughs> most, hopefully that's dug me out of that, uh, <laughs> most companies would like tell you a couple of weeks before, oh, by the way, did you know you've got 14 days to take <laughs> and if you don't take them, uh, you won't get them. You'll just lose them. That's I know exactly. Um, but no, they've, uh, they've said to me, you've got some time you need to take off. So that's what I'm doing. I've not actually seen, other than in June over my uh, my birthday um, with my mum and stepdad, I've not actually seen my uh, friends and family since March. It was actually the last time I had some time off back in March is when we went down into lockdown here in mm -hmm. the UK. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it's been that long. So it'll be good just to catch up with everyone again. It's It'll funny, be nice. Funny old but don't year. worry, I'll still be on social media. You can't keep me off social oh, media. Oh, you bet sure. your life. If there's Bet a, my if, life. If there's a signal, there's an Insta story, don't you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. So if you've never seen any of the sights of Scotland before in my hometown, keep your eyes peeled because Ooh, uh, there'll wonderful. be lots of that going. And, and you might take a picture in 3D-ness. Maybe. Maybe. Um, oh, Craig. Can I just quickly say, Derek? Yes, just, of course you can. So that one is, uh, I've just inked with the emboss inside. So yeah. that's got all the emboss detail. Yeah. And I'm just going to do exactly the same, but on the deboss side. So you're going to see a bit of a different look just when I finish that in a minute. Fabulous. And, and can we use the pigment inks? I know you were using the water reactive, but could we use the pigment inks in the same way as you have here? With the pigment inks, you can do. That's really good in the fact that what you can do afterwards is sprinkle all your um, embossing powders and that over the top and then melt them. So you're going to get a very nice um, effect, whether uh, it's your uh, clear embossing powder, white embossing powder, anything like that. Because they, they opaque are nice and juicy and sticky ink, it just means all your embossing powder will stick to it. Do you know what you've done? You've done amazing things again in this in this show, Craig, as always, of course, but uh, uh, Re Regina on uh, YouTube um, has says, inking with embossing folders has seemed intimidating. I have to try it now, which is brilliant because it, you know what, if, if our shows um, just give you that courage to yes. go for the first time, actually, because I hadn't thought, thought about inking embossing folders I, as i say i thought my embossing days were over because of my embossing mat do you know I'm what not i think the only it one. is i'm not the only one who's done that by the way i think what it is is people think that once you ink your folder if it does stain it damages your folder and that's something i've read quite a lot so that's how i just really wanted to reiterate that it will not damage your folder it'll stain it maybe but not damage it so just have a play and just see what you can come up with yeah Joan on YouTube as well has said these embossing folders are absolutely amazing. I've loved making Christmas cards um, with them. So easy with a little matte and layering. They look so very, very professional. I think they do, especially uh, our merry and bright. And what's the other one with the big text on the front of it, Craig, which I absolutely love. It's called... Deck the Halls. Deck the Halls, yeah. I mean, I just love them. That font I'm totally in love That's with. So I, nice. I need a set of stamps that is that font, by the way. So uh, I have to go and speak to Leanne, I think about that. Now, what about now, if you, I'm not sure if we've still got it on the website, you need to have a look, certainly here in the UK, I know it's not always available uh, stateside, but if you've got your spray, spray and sparkle or anything like that, give yeah. that a spray over the top. Yeah. Um, have we, do you know something? We have got, we've got the pearl glitter varnish, so let's go that, let's have a look. We have got Brenda, we've got new Brenda at new the side Brenda. here. So I, I believe um, you had one on uh, Colour Me Happy yesterday. Was it a clear overlay? So you could be using that one or your sparkle and then just give that just a bit of a spritz. There were some nice brushes in that shop, the show. Not that I was having a quick look, by the way. Um, you know, uh, Craig was do brushing over some water on some card earlier and those brushes looked awesome. There was a real nice little deal there from Colour Me Happy yesterday where uh, Leanne was with Benita and doing the whale project and everything else. If you haven't seen that yet, you've got to go back and see it. It's absolutely awesome. Um, just a very, very quick mention, just while you're with me quickly, this bundle of water reactive ink pads is absolutely flying out. It's all the popular colours are here in one selection and three come 
for free. Lemon tonic is in this selection as well. Um, and the free ones are all blues as well, as I have now discovered. Um, Lagoon, Oasis and Parakeet are the three that come for free in this bundle. You've got Fuchsia Honeypot, Lemon Tonic, Orange, Plum Jam, Pink Tulip, Sandstorm, and then Parakeet, Oasis and Lagoon that come for free, which is really, really good. £49.90 and $69.50. Fifty. This could be the bundle coming home with me. I don't know why I'm singing that, but I'm liking this selection, Craig. It's a really, really nicely um, curated collection. Yeah, it really, really is. And as you can see with the camera, just going over all the colours now, this will cover all year round. You've got your springtime, you've got your summertime, you've got your autumn there with your reds, your oranges, your yellows, but then what about your winter time? You know, you've got your turquoises, you've got your uh, kind of like your baby blues for your snow and your ice. You've got all the different tones. If you're wanting to do your flowers, then again, you've got your red, your yellow. You've got some of the uh, the very, um, right at the very bottom one, uh, in the middle, there we go, lagoon. You could be using that for your leaves if you wanted to, but then because it is water reactive, you can bring in your your um, water brushes, your paint brushes, your sparkle brush overlays, you can be using all of these as well. But if there was ever any collection that's going to work beautifully all year round, it is absolutely them ones. And like I say, it's not the kind that we've just got at the back of the warehouse. No. It's the ones that are there uh, for you to use. It certainly is not. Um, a quick question as well that has come in from Diana, and I think I could do this one for you, Diana. Um, she says, how do you clean the plaid pads on your blending tools? I think generally what people do, because if you go for the blending tool bundle, the actual tool comes with three, and then the refill pack has um, 10 in it. So generally per ink color you have, you, um, you use a little uh, one touch fastening Velcro dot underneath, or is it on top or underneath? underneath? Underneath, isn't it? Yeah, and keep the pad with that colour and then swap the pads to the colour. So you have like one pad per colour because otherwise you'd be there for a year and a day, wouldn't you? Uh, kind of, you'd, yeah. be, you'd be at the sink If I can actually lot, show you as you well, otherwise? Derek, I don't want to just kind of go off the demo here. We're just about finished, but I do just want to show you. So if you've got your trays and you've got your ink pads just here. So what I do is, um, like Derek's just said, I have a Velcro dot that I have on uh, one of mine and then my uh, actual... Um, you know, I know this isn't the same one, but you yeah. know, imagine it's the same colour. Yeah. It just sticks under the back there, and then when it sits, it sits nicely. So your ink pad's not sitting upright, or it's not adding any extra height. It sits perfectly underneath, so you would just lift off your ink pad, pull off your uh, blending uh, foam, and then you would just then go and just stick it onto your actual uh, tool. Yeah. So if you can invest in a few tools, that would be great, but then certainly invest in a few packs of the refill uh, foam um, and they will actually uh, one each for each of the actual ink pads and then that's just going to be uh, what's good for uh, yourself at home. Fabulous! Right, where were we Craig? So all that I've just done, just uh, finishing this one off, so we have sprayed these ones so I'm just going to, maybe we can just start to see with the glisten if I can turn it that way so you can start to see there we go, so that's just water reactive and we've gone over, there we go we've got all that sparkle coming over the top as well so what I'm just going to do is, we're going to take the debossed one. So if we work all the way around, so we're just going to pop the deboss on the bottom. So we're creating a bit of an easel card. So if I pop that one there, and then for this one just here, now I've popped um, tape all the way around the edges, which I didn't need to. So we'll come back and change that later. So let's just press that just halfway. So we're starting to get our easel effect just there. Then what I'm just going to do, I've got just a bit of uh, smooth cardstock. Let's just bring in our um, stamping platform and our stamping mat. And then we're going to use Winter Wishes. So for this one, all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to use the Winter Wishes along the top. So it comes as one full uh, word or uh, sentiment. So taking that one off and then I'm just going to I'll just fit on our small platform. And then once again, just because I've mentioned it a few times, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our Noir Black, but our Water Reactive. So once again, it's just to show that if you can only invest in, you know, one selection of ink pads, then if you do your Water Reactive, you can still stamp, but you can still do all your techniques with them. So we're just going to just stamp that one over the top, just there. So we'll press that one into place. 
remove that one so we've got a lot more of a distress look which I actually think works perfectly well when it comes to the color distressing that we've done there so let's just set all these out of the way just there and then I'm just going to bring in just a bit of foam pad so whether it's your foam pads or your glue gel if you lift up your sentiment and then what that'll do is that's going to create the stopper for your card so let's just bring this one back into place we're going to just press that one just there and then all that I'm just going to do just bring in either glue gel or your hot glue I've just taken a bit of our Ganza ribbon created a bow that can just go at the top add gems if you wanted to just to finish it off but then that's all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to leave it just there so we've used the embossing folder we've used the deboss side as well as the emboss side and we have used our water reactive which was the parakeet the fuchsia and we also used the crushed was the velvet. crushed velvet for that one there so we've used the three tones within that one there as well as the sentiment Thank you. That's, that's gonna, a good one. I like that. Gonna grow I like you doing that. that. That's so nice. That's definitely coming home with me now. That's going to go. That's going to go behind me. We just need like a hashtag at the start of that, don't we? That's true. Yeah. Hashtag thanks. Yeah. Although heaven knows where that might lead us. Um, and, and we are far enough astray in this show as it is, when the focus of the show is giving away eleven thousand pounds worth of product by the end I of know. it. And giving away that, that lovely bundle of goodies for free as well. I'm picking a winner on that soon, by the way. Um, Jackie on Facebook, and this made me smile. Uh, she says, I had to explain what Brenda was to my husband the other day. <laughs> now he knows when I say I need my Brenda. Yes, because he could have thought all, thought all sorts, couldn't he, really? I need my Brenda. Um, Harley on YouTube says, I use shampoo to clean my sponges. Works really well, apart from the dandruff occasionally. No, she didn't say that about the dandruff, by the way. Um, she uses shampoo to clean her sponges. Um, what was I, gonna, I was going to share something with you then. Oh, yeah, I do the same with my... Uh, I was just going to say makeup brushes, and then I remembered that I'm on the telly and we don't really need to talk about my makeup brushes, do we, really? Um... Um, blending tool pads. M Waitsman on YouTube, I assume, says that's an amazing tip. Why have I never thought of that? Well, see, the great thing with these ink pads is that the underside of them is quite deep. Can you see? So actually, you've got quite a lot of space in there to be able to stick your blending um, top sponges. Yes, thank you. Um, into them. And then you can still store them flat without them getting in the way or lifting up or, you know, ruining your beautiful display of inks. Because I, I know that by the time you've got a beautiful display of inks going on, you want to keep that display of inks looking as beautiful as long as you possibly can. Right. Sorry, I don't know where I'm going. Um, <laughs> not enough places to put things. It reminds me of my crafting life. Not enough places to put things. Um, let's recap that Christmas embossing folder collection then because they are absolutely awesome. All the techniques you just saw with Craig can be done with these as well. Uh, so with these you've got the ornate Christmas tree which is absolutely beautiful. You can see on the um, samples here on the boards they've all been finished off with um, gilding wax which is really really beautiful. Um, you've got snowflake flurry included there as well. All £27.96 for the whole bundle remember um, you also get the elegant poinsettia which i think is so so beautiful um, imagine that i mean you can really go classic with that or you can go ultra modern with it with a nice big bright sentiment you also then get deck the halls which is really really nice and then you stop paying at this point which is really really cool 27 pounds 96 39 dollars 80 and oh come on falling at the last hurdle uh, merry and bright which is the 2020 christmas 3d embossing folder um, comes for free 27 pounds 96 39 dollars 80. now you will have noticed as well at the bottom of your screen damn point down there there'll be inks flying but down at the bottom of your screen laura has put the details there for you um, of the multi-buy on these as well so they're 6.99 or 9.95 on their own but why do that because look you can get two for 10 pounds or $17, which is pretty cool. I love our multi-buys, they're really, really good. Um, we've got some wicked ones this afternoon as well, by the way. I know it's too soon to talk about this afternoon, but you know, it's <coughs> foiling tomorrow. Uh, sorry, terrible cough, terrible, terrible cough there. Uh, but yeah, we have got foiling this afternoon. Everything, your foiling world will be attended to um, this afternoon. And we don't have to wait that long either. Um, 
Watching Crafters TV with crafty friends has to be the best way to spend a bank holiday Saturday. I forgot it was a bank holiday. I completely, so that means that in the UK, I know in this weird, weird world, bank holidays don't really mean a lot this year, apart from busy motorways and lots of people driving in the rain in queues of traffic, going to a staycation somewhere to be wet all weekend. Um, um, but yes, it is a bank holiday. Do, do we have bank holidays uh, over the pond, Craig? I don't know, I'm not familiar. I'm not too sure actually, but really I think as well nowadays, you know, bank holidays, it used to be banks as well as shops and that that are kind of shut. It's really just banks now on a Monday, isn't it, of the bank holiday weekend. I don't, but, well, I don't For me, it's just another crafty day. I don't absolutely. mind. Absolutely. I don't mind. I, I, don't, I can't tell you the last time I went into a bank. I think, aren't they only open about an hour and a half every week anyway, aren't they? I don't know. Anyway, that's my own personal opinion and not that of Crafters Companion Limited. Thank you. Worldwide. Uh, just in case any lawyers are watching anyway. Uh, Derek, I'm still waiting on you to sing a Christmas carol. Oh, the time will come. The time will come. Sandra says these embossing folders are fantastic. And Elva says, hooray, I've just ordered the ink pads. I had to have them. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty much the, uh, the same way on that score. Have we got another little um, demonstration? Oh, where are we? I don't even know where we are. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. It's me thinking we're nearly finished, Craig. We've got 20 minutes, yeah? What we've are you got on about? 20 minutes, I know. So this one here is uh, using the sparkle pens, although what am I way to do, you can use with the uh, actual um, Harmony Watt reactive ink pads. And this is the one where we're going to use a bit of glycerin. So we're going to actually use our sparkle pens to actually blend with. So what we're going to do is uh, glycerin, because obviously it's, um, it's a water base within it. We're going to use watercolour card, but also because we're using the sparkle pens. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in Merry and Brightness. Derek says the font within these ones are absolutely incredible. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pop our cardstock in and I've just got it to the right size. So I'm just going to place it within the middle. So it's our 3D embossing folder. So once again, it is our magnetic shim and then our plastic shim. However, I am just going to add my uh, metal shim in just to give that a wee bit extra oomph. And then we're just going to run that one through. So that's going to do all that embossing, whether it's the detail around the sentiment as well as the sentiment as well. So as this one comes out, we are going to use, uh, when it comes to the actual sparkle pens, we're going to use the autumn and winter one and we're going to use holly leaf and we're also going to use so we're going to use red berry and holly leaf for these ones here so i've already uh, primed these ones so what i'm just going to do with this is if i then just if you've got maybe like a small pipette or something like that then you can use that one all that i'm going to do is i'm just going to use the holly leaf and i'm just going to just lay down some of this onto my uh, glass cutting mat if you've got your um wipeable heat proof uh, blending mat that's in that selection then you can be using that as well I'm just going to just lean over to the side of me here and get out another blending tool although I've just picked a red one up again when I need green but hey ho let's just go for it so then all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to add just a wee bit of the glycerin just within the middle there and then what happens is this actually enables us and creates kind of like a blending solution so if I then just start to just mix that in so we're just going to just mix that in. Could even add it just a wee bit less than what I did, but we're still going to get that blending effect. So we're just then just going to start to blend all of that around the edges. So we're just going to just blend that in. Now the sparkle, we're not going to get any less spark sparkle we're still going to get all that incredible detail of the sparkle coming through it's not going to dilute it whatsoever so i'm just going to just do the edges so i'm just working my way around the edges i'm even going to start to just take some of the excess off and then just start to just blend these wee bits in as well so i'm going all over the top but what i'm then away to do is the actual wording i'm going to come and just pick that out with uh, the actual red berry so again, let's just finish that one. I'll blend that all the way around. And then if I bring this in, leaving it to uh, dry slightly when all of that sparkle will uh, come to uh, come to life. Craig, now, quick, just a quick one. Yes. Um, it's come up a couple of times, actually. Um, Bev is asking on YouTube, um, can you use your sparkle pens without water and on ordinary cards? So you yeah. were using Smooth earlier, but can I, can I use 
majority of my cards. Yeah, you don't have cards. to. You don't have to um, water your card down or anything like that. If you want to go direct in, so if you've got a stamped uh, image, so if you maybe not want to use your classic pens or your tri-blend pens or that, what you can do is go straight in with your uh, sparkle pens, add the colour where you want it, colour it completely with your sparkle pens, or just add an accent within some of the uh, stamped area and start to pull that colour out, either with um, a water brush, your uh, paint brush with water, or if you've got the clear sparkle overlay pen, you can start to pull the colour in that way as well. So you don't have to go direct with water if you don't want to. So then what I'm going to do, so if I just tip that that way for uh, you to see, so we'll start to then get that sparkle effect. Look at that, so there, just try to pick that sparkle up. So once that dries, it will become even more um, visible. So then what I'm just going to do is with the red berry, I'm just going to just uh, shake my pen. It's already um, activated, but let's just get that colour to go. And then all that I'm just going to do is, if I turn it that way, because it's easier for me, I'm then just going to just colour in. Now you take a lot more time than I would and I would personally just let that base layer uh, dry first with the actual um, glycerin. Really try and add even less glycerin than what I did. Um, although it didn't seem as though I used a lot, there was still a lot more because you can just start to see it's just bleeding slightly at the edges. Hence why one, use less glycerin and two, if you let it dry first. So let's just work our way over the top. So what I'm just going to do is we'll do this one here. We'll do onto the wording. So you can, again, take your time. You can pick out the details. If you want to do your um, blending, whether it comes to the actual um, classics, tri-blends, absolutely you can do. Or we showed you with the snowflake how you can start to um, add your colour over the top from your ink pad. So if you do it that way, then you can get the colours coming through within the background as well as the wording. But we're just going to work all the way, keeping it very traditional when it comes to the colours with the red as well as the greens. But I'm just going to work all the way around. Do you know what, uh, Craig? I know, I know you've used all your get out of jail free cards for what this might look like at the end. But you know what? It is going to look absolutely um, incredible. I think, because actually when you look at the boards on these ones, the two with the big um, fonts, so um, Merry and Bright and Deck the Halls, um, to see them in um, uh, gilding maxes, fantastic. Although few and far between, let me tell you at the moment. We've got, I think, two colours left. And they're in the shop, the show for this afternoon as well, by the way, for the foil press, just as a heads up if you're looking. Um, but actually, I think this is a really, really, and of course, traditionally, red and green, Christmas time, just go together so amazingly well. I mean, they're beautiful. And actually, you know what, as you can see this coming together right now, there's a completely different accent where the green and the red are together on the M there. I'll just let you go into your stroke there, Craig. <laughs> I can see you're enjoying yourself. I'm I know, not, yeah, I've, you just I've have to him. just lose. I've lost him, he's gone into one of those uh, brush stroke heaven there. That's it. Um, but you can see where the, the green and the red are, there's a very, very different look. It's almost like a softer look, almost like that could be the start of maybe wax dripping down an old candle or that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And it's quite nice to have a distressed look like that because that those folders can look you know a little bit too uniform but you can take them quite freestyle as well and have lots and lots of fun with them um, and I'm sure you're seeing as this is coming together other things that you'll want to use in addition to what you can see right now so you might do the two lots of um, inking with the sparkle pens there I mean that's going to come together beautifully but then you might want to want to add some embossed detail um, to that as well. It's funny, isn't it? it and, is. and I really, really get it for, for everyone watching Crafters TV. Watching the demonstrations gives you, oh, another point of view on something you might have already had. You might already have ordered this set of embossing folders. You've got them there. You've had them every, for a few weeks. They haven't come out of the packets yet. Um, and you might see this demonstration and think, oh, now what Craig did earlier has really given me a really, really good idea. And then away you go. And please share back with us when you have as well. I See, I think that looks, that M looks awesome. It's got so much character, Craig. Do you know something? I absolutely, completely agree with you. 
what I'm, I'm away to show you next, one that I done last night and I really took my time with you and uh, you know, I'm being completely honest with when, when I say what I'm away to say, I actually prefer this look. I prefer that kind of bleed and distress yeah. look. But that's all that we've just done, gone round the edges. If you wanted to go with a deeper uh, green when it comes to water reactive ink pads, you can do it if you want. Take a lot more time than me if you want. But if I bring in this one that I've already done, so I've just coloured in that full image. So like Derek says, you know, if you want it to be quite, you know, straight, regimental, mm -hmm. um, then you can do, you can do it that way. But I really do quite like that blending effect. Obviously I've gone a bit deeper with the green, but that's what it's going to look like, keeping it with the green and the reds, but you can change the colors completely if you so wish. So then what we can just do is let's just bring in, I've just brought in some of our um, black matte cardstock and also some of our gold uh, Centura apparel. So what I'm going to do with this one, so that layer that I embossed was six and a half by four and a half and then just to show you here so the main Centura Pearl layer it is seven and three quarters by five inches and then what I've just done just at each edge I've just scored in at uh, I usually do things in centimeters but in inches this has actually been scored in at one centimeter and the reason being is it's going to create a bit of a dome so let's just bring in our tape pen we're just going to layer this one up so our black layer is just a quarter of an inch uh, larger than the actual embossed layer so we can just bring that one over the top and we're just going to press that into place just there so let's just press that in then once again what we're just going to do is we're just going to add our tape all the way around this can then go into the center of our um, centura pearl just there and then I've brought in my card blank here and then what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to pop my tape down each side of the panel so we're just going to go all the way down and I'm just going to just do that side as well and then what we're going to do is we're just going to just bend that over slightly we're just going to buckle it slightly and then I'm just going to just eyeball it and I'm just going to just press and then I'm going to line that one up as well and then we're just going to press and I'm just going to leave it there you can add a, bit, add a bit of ribbon or pearls if you want but then just from up above you can see that shape there and then if I turn that around we've got that effect there so that is of course with the sparkle pens but then you could do the distressing around the edges with the water reactive if you want and don't forget if you've got any of your other mediums such as your aqua pens or that you can still be using all of them as well doing all these different techniques as well see what you've got maybe treat yourself if you've not already got maybe the sparkle pens or the the pads and then do all these different techniques and keep in mind there are so many other techniques from all of us across on our YouTube when it comes to the things we've got on today's show. Craig, very much, <laughs> very much this time, very much. Do you know what I would do with you, you know you're one that where the M looks slightly waxy. Yes. I've just thought in the back of my mind, and because it's one of Debbie's favourite, favourite products, um, Sarah Signature, um, uh, has the wax seal mm -hmm. i can't remember is it garden of love yes and i would want to add that on there with the heart and the wax yeah. just to keep that same theme mm -hmm. going because i love that color scheme and i love the way that almost looks like dripping wax yeah it gives that that gives that what could be you know very very straight very very smart sentiment it gives it that slightly more you know fluid kind of character. I love it. But it just goes to show, Derek, as uh, initially, when you look at the Mary and Bright Boston folder, you maybe wouldn't think to bring in your Sarah Signature Garden of Love. No. But then, like I say, depending on what you cr create, whether it's intentional or not, as you say, why not instantly, it brings in the work of your um, uh, wax seals, yeah. so then bring them in as well. Why yeah. not? And if you want to find those, by the way, I think if you search the word wax on our, uh, you should be safe, uh, on our website, you will come up with the wax seal kit from the Garden of Love if it is in stock. If not, add it to your wish list. Let's talk about sparkle pens then, because lots and lots and lots of people are adding these to their collection for the first time. In fact, um, I think it was lovely. Was it Betty? Was it Betty or was it someone else? It's just in, it, oh, Coletta on YouTube. I've just introduced this, my sparkle pens um, to my four-year-old granddaughter for a unicorn project we were making. She loved them. Here's the three sets that you get in this bundle. Remember, you're only paying for two of them. The third comes along for the ride. So the first set is autumn winter, which is smoked quartz, olive jade, harvest moon, starry sky, 
holly leaf and red berry. You will also get coastal cottage, which is a beautiful, beautiful selection of slightly softer, slightly more, I wouldn't call them pastel. It's, it's like coastal cottage is a brilliant, brilliant, kind of reminds you of beach huts and wonderful colors by the sea. Um, You've got linen in there, peach tree, sea spray, magnolia, cornflower blue and pistachio, and then you stop paying because your $49.98 or $65.90 is the price of two sets. But, ta-da! Spring, summer. This comes along for the ride for free, which is brilliant. And that gives you um, pink champagne, moonlight, soft jade, solar red, emerald green, and blue topaz, which is amazing. So all three sets of those, so 18 different sparkle pens. You've seen how versatile they are. You can go straight onto card with them. You can go um, over your uh, water wash on a piece of card as well and really blend that out for backgrounds as well. Okay, I'm not moving. I'm gonna stand still. See, I talk with my arms. Um, let's go back to the Sara Signature embossing folders as well because we've got a wonderful, wonderful bundle on those. Oh, I've got to pick a winner in a second. Yes, that reminds me. Right, okay, hang on a second, I'm doing it at random now. Oh, there. Right, I've picked a winner. Um, so here are your Sara Signature embossing folders then. So three from Sara Signature, plus Crafty Friends and Rick Rack for free. £17.97, $23.93. We also have your Christmas 3D embossing folder sentiment five-piece collection there at $27.96 or $39.80. Remember, in that one, your Merry and Bright, which is the 2020 Christmas one comes free with the bundle, which is amazing. We also have your Cut and Emboss classic everyday folders, which are really, really cool. I love these. So you get birthday congrats, friend and home, and then love and thank, thanks even, not thanks. It's TH Derek, not an F. Um, they come free, which is really, really good. $51.96 in the UK, $59.96 in the US, which is really lovely. We've got Christmas sentiment stamps as well. And this is a, a, a half price deal as well. So you get two, oh, sorry, you buy two, you get to no extra cost to yourself. You absolutely do. So Merry Christmas. It's like an early Christmas present from us here at Crafters TV, um, just because we are celebrating our paper anniversary. So if you're actually married in real life then, what the heck do you give each other on your first anniversary of paper? What do you do? Just do a bit of origami and say, there you are, darling, happy anniversary. Or the obvious one, a card. Oh, that's, yeah, of course you do. That's what you do. Well, what do boys do though? Do you know what I mean? Like, like boys, they, a lot of boys won't spend the time making cards. I know lots of boys do make cards, but the you're, average, you're digging a hole there, aren't the you? Aver well, no, but the average husband, do you know what I mean? I would be no do? average husband. Oh, hang on, Craig, I've just had an idea. Money, of course. Money, of course. Money, of course, silly me. Anyway, so here's some um, uh, essential sentiment stamps here uh, which are absolutely beautiful for your uh, delectation there £14.98 $22.90 and I think on that one the third set uh, comes for free sassy yes that's right sassy comes for free which is really really lovely then we've got the ink pad essential tools uh, four piece bundle and this is what I was saying earlier about having a different pad per ink well in this I mean the refill packs for the um, for the tool are really, really easy to get hold of on our website. Of course, with this, you get the brayer, you get the, the heat resistant mat, you get the square blending tool, at, at, which comes with three refills already, and you get the pack of 10 refills which come with it, and they both come for free in this bundle as part of our 11,000 pounds worth of product to give away in this show. We are done for this show, but don't think you've got away for the day. Oh, no, 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 no. Cancel everything else that is in your diary for today because we need you back here in one hour's time for, well, I was going to say it's a very special reason, Craig, but there's about a thousand and one special reasons to be back in an hour, isn't there? I think so, and I think we've got the main reason here. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we've got some incredible things with the foil presser. We're actually going to be doing demos as such when it comes to the foil presser. So if you want to see some things that you could be doing, if you've already shopped the show, uh, then do tune in because we've also got a guest as well. Yes, we have. And Craig, I just want to say, again, oh, uh, many. You're welcome. Many. Many. Right, listen, see you back here. I'll be sat down, Craig will be stood, standing up. There'll be lots of foil everywhere and a special guest. Join us for the Craft Tower. The what? Craft the Craft Tower? 
There's well, a new there's, show. There's something we need to build. In the meantime, we'll just have to make do with the craft house. See you in an hour.